All right, Coach Mike, we're going to take a look at uh, a one-step drill in particular that you've used in lessons, um, and we're going to actually demonstrate it with a player here. Tell us a little bit about what it is and what we're going to get out of it. Well, a lot of times, a lot of players, as they come along, they tend to use too much upper body mm -hmm. in their swing. And so I've got a couple of variations of a one-step drill, and we've seen one-step drills in the past. I've got a couple little variations here that will help really reinforce to a player that the lower body drives the swing, and the upper body really just comes along for the ride, if you will. Great. So I think we have an example of a player that's really upper body dominant to start. Mm -hmm. You've actually think worked with them, and we'll yes. see the examples of what it looks like to have a one-step drill incorporate the lower body more in the swing, like you're saying. Than yeah. The upper body. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see John and and what he looks like and how he uses his upper body. And we're going to go through the drills and we're gonna see the results. So let's take a look at it before and after. All right. Okay, so here, here, we see, here we see John in the first example, and John tends to get a little forward, use a lot of upper body, and that causes him to pull a lot of shots and get a lot of shots offline in the front part of the swing. So now we're going to go through a couple of drills and see how that changes the swing. In this first drill, I have John hang the ball to his side. He's going to just gently, very gently bump the ball forward, let the ball fall back on its own weight from gravity, and then as the ball stops going back, he's going to go into a slide, and, and I'm emphasizing very strongly to John, all lower body, there's absolutely no upper body in this swing, and you can see it really changes how his swing looks from the, from the start. Because we're so focused on the lower body, we're just gonna let the ball literally drop down to his side, no effort to create any backswing, just however far it goes back. And then again, heavy, heavy emphasis on all lower body, no upper body muscle whatsoever. And you can see he's starting to get a feel for it now. So now we go to full approaches, and we can see a dramatic difference in his swing. There's a lot more freedom in his swing. Gravity's feeding the swing. His lower body is moving a little faster. It's driving ball speed. And you can see at the top of his swing, his elbow still bends, which is not really not a bad thing, but he's more relaxed coming down. It unloads a lot better and he feeds the ball into the lane in a much more repeatable way and we saw a lot fewer pulled shots at the end. Okay coach, so the one step drill, um, we've seen the example of what John looks like. Um, if we take a look at the start to finish on it, the biggest piece we're going to get out of it like we talked about, I think is the lower body getting engaged more in the swing. Exactly. Um, take us a little bit about through how it worked with John. So by doing this kind of hanging the ball at your side variation of the one-step drill and really enforcing the idea that there is no upper body in the swing, all you do is nudge the ball forward, let it fall back, and then just go into your slide and get that feeling of no upper body whatsoever in the swing, going to a conventional one-step rather than trying to even push the ball out, just let it fall and let it fall into the swing and, and again stay with all lower body. The effect of doing that drill over and over again, when you finally get to a full swing, it's dramatic and we saw a dramatic difference yeah, in the swing. Yeah, big difference in somebody using the upper body versus the lower body and I think a lot of times we try and teach somebody to use their legs more in their swing. You almost drive the tempo and I think the overall um, balance and, and overall force of the ball getting on in the lane can be driven by the lower body better than the upper body. Exactly, because muscles never fire the same way. And gravity always wins, as we know. And allowing gravity to drive the swing from the, in terms of the ball swing and using the legs to create speed creates more accurate, repeatable shots. So and, and we saw with John yeah. that there were instances where he kind of pulled the shot left and in the end we saw a lot more accuracy. Yeah, so there it is, the one-step drill from Coach Mike. It's definitely going to give players the opportunity to learn to engage the lower body, get stronger with the, the footwork, and ultimately balance out that game and not necessarily use the upper body to control the swing. So thanks for the tip. We appreciate it. Hopefully they can use this at home.